About three years ago, we made a creative project in the office, a mineral oil submerged PC. Thanks for liking our project, fellow hardcore PC enthusiast. We will answer all your inquiries and show you how we rebuild and update our mineral oil PC right here in this video. Stay tuned! Step 1 is to disassemble our mineral oil PC to check which parts are still working and parts that needs to be replaced. Drain the oil from the tank using a plastic siphon pump and take out the PC parts and decorations. Now that the tank is empty, we can take a better look of the tank if it has any damage. Our tank is as good as new. See that, guys? We heard all of your concerns from our last video in building this mineral oil PC. We will answer all your questions one by one while we are rebuilding. Let's start with the first question coming from Daryl Coy. He wrote, been doing a lot of research on the types of tank or enclosure to use. Could a glass fish aquarium be used? Or will the mineral oil degrade the corners and make it leak? Or even worse, fall apart. Your build looks awesome by the way. Just not quite brave enough to do mine yet. Really want something original. Have plenty of ideas. Hi Daryl! Actually, we had similar concerns when we first started the project, but we decided to take the risk and went with Fluval Flex 9 gallon tank. We kept an eye on the tank regularly to ensure no leakage or breakdown of the seals. Even after a few years, the seals still look new with a very little or no signs of deterioration. Next step is to lay the empty tank and PC parts at the table take out each of the pieces. So far the motherboard, SSD, memory, video card, multiple USB socket extenders, CPU, and wireless dongles are still good. Some of you are wondering why we are still installing the fans. As Red Crown and Kalyan Kumar Kudavadi said in the comments, fans are useless, you could have removed them. And then the motherboard is immersed in mineral oil for cooling. Do we really need that fan anymore? Well, we definitely could have removed the fans, but we left them in to have some moving parts. Without fans, our visitors may not realize the computer is running. Actually, the fan doesn't contribute to any cooling gains at the tank, but it makes it look cooler in having some moving parts. By the way, we bought one new jug of oil because we lost 20% of it when we moved offices. Actually, we spilled it on the floor. This was just to top it up again to make it look more full, but basically, most of the oil is being recycled. Actually, it's been a few years and we haven't noticed any of the sheathing or insulation dissolve. However, we did notice that our power cable became very stiff. Plumpai is right! As he said in the comments, Watch out! The sheathing or insulation on the power cable will dissolve and break down eventually. Just replace it like every two years or something to make sure you don't electrocute something. Then, as a result, we replace it. The rest of the cables, however, seem okay still. And now that our PC parts are ready, we will put them all back together and then place back in the tank. Before we move to the most exciting part, Let's address Luftkorp's concern. He said, still up and running? I want to use a glass tank, but I fear the oil dissolves to glue. Hey Luft, we had the same concern when we started. We used the Fluval Flex glass tank and the seals are showing no signs of deterioration at all. The only thing we noticed was that some of the cables became stiff, but none of the glue, plastic, or rubber wore down. Let's move on to the most exciting part. 
Time to redecorate the tank, but make sure to use a heavy duty glue. Since we're done with the redecoration, we will now pour our mineral oil. Oh, by the way, guys, you can get your non conductive mineral oil from Walmart and Amazon. Remember, guys, the average CPU temperature of this PC is 39 degrees Celsius and GPU is 45 degrees Celsius. And imagine, this is without a radiator. And now, we are going to test our updated mineral oil PC. Yes! Our mineral oil PC is still running perfectly. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more tech tips in this channel. We we'll look forward to your comments and suggestions of what you want us to try next. Bye!